you guys, I am going to do a drugstore and more haul. Basically, some other things are not from drugstores, but they're not from Mac or Sephora or anything too expensive. Um, and it's like 1 a.m. on Saturday morning or Sunday morning. Um, but I just shopped on Saturday, obviously, hours ago. Um, and I wanted to get this video up because one of the stores they have a sale on that's only Saturday and Sunday so I wanted to post this and it'll go up kind of at like 2 or 3 a.m. Um, on Sunday morning so if you guys do see this you can take part in the great sale. Um, so I was looking for a blush as you guys saw in my last video one of the gradient ones and Ms. Jealousy and Ali Combs both recommended the Rimmel Autumn Catwalk it's a three tone gradient. Um, I looked everywhere in my city I cannot find it, so I guess they don't have it. Then Nails by Natalie and Ducky Quack 2 recommended the Body Shop, that they have one pretty much exactly like the Physician's Formula. So I looked online, and sure enough, they do. And so I was gonna go get it. It was $22 here. And I mean, it is a bit more than I wanted to pay. I definitely wanted to kind of go closer to like under 15 but I really wanted it, um, so I was like, okay, what the, I'll just go get it. Um, so I walked in there, and as soon as I got in, they're like, oh, have you heard of our latest promotion? And I'm just like, no, what? And usually they're just like, oh, with the body shop, it's like, spend whatever, get whatever off, or um, buy three, get two free, or, you know, that kind of stuff. But I listened, and actually, what you got was that you get a little sticker thing, and I already used this one, that it's make your own sale. So this one was a 50% off, this is 30, 50, and 30. And you can stick this on whatever product you want in the store, excluding the like gift box or gift packs already that have like 10 products in it. Um, so everything is basically 50% off. And you'd have to use it in order, so if you got two items you couldn't just use the two 50% off, you'd have to do 50, 30, and then if you got a third one it could be um, the 50% off. But basically I was like, okay, instead of paying $22 for this, which yes, I stuck my 50% off on, it's going to be $11. So, um, yeah, and I had the 10% off, like, I think it's Love Your Body, it's the Body Shop card. Um, so 10% off, so even with tax, it was pretty much just over $11. So, awesome price. <laughs> I should have almost got two of them. But yeah, so this, it's only on today, well, I guess Saturday and then Sunday, which is today. But... I surprisingly have a lot of energy for 1am. But this is exactly what I was wanting. Um, the old one, as I showed my other one, this is the Physician's Formula. And then the Body Shop one is like this. So I guess I'd have it like that. So this is like the highlighter. And I'll just put a nice big finger swatch of it. And so you can see it's shimmery. And this top one, I mean it's it is nice and white, and oh, I love this. I haven't tried it yet, um, but I'm very excited to. And then just talking about blush, um, this is not something I bought today, but just on that last video, Nibbles X Sips, I think that's her username, um, she just asked about the NARS Torrid blush and asking if it has like some sparkle in it. Um, so I just thought since I'm making this video anyway, I would just show it. So this is, yeah, one that I bought a long time ago. But this is what Torrid is, and it does have some sparkle in it. It kind of has some gold tones, but I'm definitely not one for, like, sparkles all over on your face. So, I mean, I'll swatch it over here. This is what it looks like. And then on your hand, or face, it's like that. So, I mean, you can't really see any sparkles. If I look closely I can see a little bit of gold but not really. So overall I wouldn't say this had a lot of sparkles. Yeah, I really like it. I went to Shoppers Dark Mart and I got kind of a boring thing, my Quo eye makeup remover. And then I got, this was a repurchase that I should have put in my items I repurchased tag but I hadn't repurchased it yet. It is the Rimmel Exaggerate um, eyeliner and it's waterproof and it's called eye definer but you know I really like it it has a smudger on this side I don't use that um, but it just stays on your eyes perfectly like not a smudge at all even though it's one that you can smudge but no I absolutely love it so I got another one of these and then I got um, these little guys and it is a 
Beijing brand. It's a Bentio beauty box. And this one is palette one. I actually got two of them. I'm going to be doing a giveaway for it later. Um, and it also has another blush. Not that I need more blush. So it has a blush and then four shadows. So the blush is like this. And then for swatching, it's a very pinky color. Oh dear, you can't really see that, but yes. And they had four different palettes, and I really like the one that was like purple and pink, but I have a lot of those colors, so I decided to go for something that I don't generally have a lot of colors. And I mean, blues don't look the best with my eye color. I have hazel eyes, so, you know, but purples look good, and this is kind of like a slight color. So these are the colors here. Um, I'll swatch it. So we kind of have... That's the lightest blue, and this is the slate purple, and then that was the darker blue. So, I mean, these ones kind of look similar. Okay, didn't plan that out well. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll probably do a tutorial with them and then give the other one away, but we shall see. And then what I got um, was pretty cool. It is Gosh brand, and basically it is glitter, which, oh, I hate glitter. Um, but it's nail glitter, and I don't know, I just, I hadn't used it before, and it was on sale, so I thought I would give it a try. Basically, you just put on a clear coat of nail polish, and then you open this up, and they had about 10 different colors, I think. And it's just loose glitter powder in here. Just spilled it. Oh, well. Anyways, <laughs> and so you put your clear nail polish on your nail, and then basically you just dip your finger in here, and then use a brush to wipe off the excess. Um, so I tried it right now with one nail because I wanted to see. I got a pretty kind of neutral color. It's just like a gray color. Oh yeah, moonstone gray. Um, they had, you know, greens, purples, pinks, you know, bright glitter, but I thought I'd just try this one. So this is what it looks like on my one finger. So you can see I didn't do it very well because I just quickly tried it. But it has the glitter, but without being it like way too sparkly. And overall in messiness, it was a little messy, but not that bad. And actually, I like that. The reason I don't like glitter is because basically it gets everywhere and it stays with you. But once you kind of use a brush to get it off, it doesn't stick all over your fingers, so that's good. Kind of all along the rest of the fingers, you don't see it. Um, so that was good. And then I just got a sample of um, Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift, her perfume. Now, I'm not expecting for me to like it, because I don't usually like perfume, <laughs> but let's see. Okay, I wouldn't buy it just because it's not for me and it would drive me crazy if I wore it all day. <laughs> but it's not that bad. It doesn't seem that strong. It definitely has a florally scent. Does it say anything about it? No. I don't know. I'm not good at describing what it smells like, but it's not that bad. I had one sample that I got and it was like in a little pouch but I thought you'd open the pouch because it was like this kind of material and then see there's a little moist towelette here I thought it would be like that so I opened it in my car and inside was the perfume it was like a pack of liquid and of course it spilled in my car so now it was like I don't know six five or six days ago and my car still smells like that perfume so I don't remember what it is but I would never get that perfume because that stinks and it's an enclosed space and it's like too cool to drive with your windows open now and ugh, it stinks. But this, it's not bad, but I wouldn't buy it. Um, and then last thing, um, I got another Aveda loose powder. I know in my kind of items I repurchased, I show that I have so many, but basically I filmed that a while ago. I just didn't put it up with all of my Halloween things because I got busy with Halloween. So, yes, I have yay, a new one of these. I got this a while ago. Um, I already filmed my review on this, so you guys will see my review. 
It's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser that has this kind of spongy top. So stay tuned for that. And I think that's it. And now I still smell this. This will have to go in the garbage that's closed and sealed and hope I don't smell it. Yes, um, other things. Oh, I'm going to be doing a November and December Glimbox giveaway. So all of you guys who watched my unboxing of it and was like, oh, I wish we could get it like in my city or my country. Now you have a chance to win it. I will explain later in that video um, why I have two. Um, yes, I'm not very happy with it. It's a little bit sneaky what they did, but basically I paid for two and I'm getting two. And I only realized it now and they already, like at the second or third of the month, they do it for the next month. So the second of November, I already paid for a December box. And so only I only noticed it a few days ago. And I emailed them and said, no, cancel one box. I don't need two. Um, but they're like, oh, well, we, your December box is already paid for. We can't refund you. And I'm like, Ugh. so I mean, good for you guys. Sucks for me that I have to pay for two gloom boxes. <laughs> but, oh, well. So that's kind of things that are coming up. Uh, reviews, Glimbox giveaways, Beijing giveaways. Um, yes, I should get some sleep. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.